actor, a writer, a producer, but so many of you likely know her for the 20 years she played Drusilla Winters on The Young and the Restless. There she is. Look at that headband. By the way, that headband has made a comeback. Now this summer, Victoria Roll is helping people, helping people change their lives with her new show, Trash vs. Treasure. Take a look. One, two, three! <laughs> oh. No matter where you land, you can live in beauty. Thank you. Oh my gosh, even that makes my cold veins want to tear up. Joining us right now is the woman behind that, Victoria Roll. Thank you so much for joining us this morning. You wear many hats. I'm going to add Mistress of the Universe to it. So it is a pleasure to see you this morning. Pleasure to see you as well. Thank you for having me. Of course, you are also the executive producer of Trash vs. Treasure. So what made you decide to take on this project because it is garnering so much success already? You know, it's really an homage um, to the women who raised me in foster care. Um, I wrote a memoir, uh, The Women Who Raised Me. Uh, HarperCollins published it. And I really wanted to carry forward, pass on knowledge that these very practical women taught me. Some collected fabrics, another would collect old furniture and refinish it and bring me into the fold and teach me how to do that. So. Uh, this is a show about recycling. This is a show about organizing, but more often repurposing what you already have, especially during a time during COVID, especially during a time when people are struggling to stay in their apartments and their homes. So it's extremely timely and I'm extremely grateful to uh, UMC TV, Urban Movie Channel and AMC Networks for greenlighting this show. It's, it's a wonderful show. I love that you're paying it forward, but you're also recognizing the state of current events. It was a very big weekend uh, for you and BET Heard. There were four films that were aired, all by African-American women. You directed Everything is Fine. So, so tell us how you got involved in that and, and how it all went down. Uh, well, BET is part of the Viacom CBS family, which the aggregate is around 22 years. Um, that I've been affiliated uh, with the station. Uh, when BET asked me to participate as a director, I was thrilled um, for a number of reasons. Uh, one, I have been directing and wanted to direct uh, for BET. Uh, and two, the diversity push for economic inclusion and parity. Um, this opportunity to work with colleagues such as Charlie Ralph, uh, Vanessa Bell Calloway, Kim Fields, and actors that I've wanted to work with again, uh, such as Charmin Lee or Laurent Marze. Um, it was so much in terms of being able to work with a black female producer, Tressa Smallwood, a Megamind Media, and of course, Larissa Bates, uh, VP at BET. So um, the amalgamation of women, um, also black writers, black female writers, it really, echoed that we're here, we're ready, Hollywood. Uh, you don't have to look far to find us. It really spoke highly to the caliber of excellence behind the camera. Um, and uh, we really need to work on our improvement. Uh, I see a lot of things happening, but I don't want to speak to it just being a moment in time. This has to systemically mm -hmm. change and be sustainable. Victoria, I'm so glad you just say that, said that, that it's not just a moment in time, because I know for a fact that you've been working towards diversity in the media, in Hollywood, so that, you know, the, 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 the people we see in front of the camera reflect the eyeballs that are watching them. So I applaud your effort. Girl, you hustle more than I do, because in addition, in addition <laughs> to the shows, the push for, for equality for people of color and women, mental health is also something that is very important to you. There was a PSA uh, that you released. Uh, we're going to take a quick listen at that. It's time for the black community to have the frank conversation about mental health. All too often, we're misdiagnosed, we're overprescribed. No, the healing has to start with us. The healing starts with us. So what made you come out publicly about this? 
Well, it was part of the package with the BET Her movies. Uh, two of the movies uh, that address mental health, which were directed by myself and Kim Fields, and two of the movies will air later uh, during October for Breast Cancer Awareness Month. Uh, but it was part of the package. BET Her really wanted to send forward a message into the community that mental health starts with us in the community, creating safe spaces for families to talk about um, transparently. Um, and black psychiatrists, psychologists are so very important. So I, I encourage people uh, to go to BET.com and learn more about how they